So, start of the iteration of the season systems. The season changes implies a change in the visual part of locations, ambient sound, and weather effects. Early spring will be available in, the, in this update. Other seasons corresponding to the calendar seasons will be added in future updates. Added the BTR A2A to Woods, traveling between different stop points. I'm going to be honest, chat, never thought this was going to happen. <laughs> Scav Bunker, Sunken Village, Old Sawmill, Sawmill, USEC Checkpoint, Emercom Base, Junction. Uh, that's that's actually really, really uh, funny. Like, imagine walking around on Woods, no cover whatsoever. You hear the BTR, you take cover behind a tree, and bullets just start fucking flying bro just zero cover dude people are going to get massacred in woods update the magic system for ground zero <clears throat> system dividing players and beginning levels up to level 20 and the experienced players from 21 and above match making for these groups to be separate okay so now we can all queue ground zero if you're 21 and above you'll be in a separate queue Ground Zero will be available to all players without level restrictions for experienced players there will be modified versions of ground zero with Increased difficulty of scavs, chance to find rare loot, possibility of airdrops, uh, plane appearing, as well as an option to call an airdrop with red flare. Possibility of scav boss Kalantai appearing. If there's at least one player in the group with a level higher than 20, all players will receive a warning of selecting ground zero, ground zero for experienced players. When playing as a scav, the matching is independent of the player's level. And co-op practice mode, access to ground zero is also independent to players' levels. Okay, so there's no more sniping, or there's no more uh, <clears throat> playing ground zero against freshies, I guess. Quests, first in line, shooting cans, luxurious life, uh, burning rubber, and saving the mole will no longer fail after the player reaches level 20. Added ground zero objectives in the following quest, a shooter born in heaven, the guide, peacekeeping mission, survivalist of the eagle owl, uh escort slaughterhouse and information source damn they added escort to fucking ground zero that's an even harder quest now added daily and weekly tasks for ground zero adjusted the sound system oh god updated the ambient sound to match the current season in the game wind volume now depends on strength in the raid update the indoor rain ambient added smoother transitions between day and night added smoother transitions between indoor and outdoor improved the audibility through door and window openings added the external sound suppression while use it, while inside the btr ui improvements added the damage penetration stats to the ammo inspector screen oh that's nice when hovering over the penetration stat or sat you can see the penetration chance against certain armor classes improved skills menu interface added descriptions to skill leveling numerical values to the bonuses are now displayed in tenths Added a green skill progress bar displaying how many skill points you have during the raid. Add the ability to view a player's profile via the dog tag on the lobby screen. Added the ability to report a player on the profile page. Added the button for the dog tag bonuses information uh, hall of fame zone. Other changes, <clears throat> optimize the algorithm of searching the cover for AI. Change lighting inside ultra mall and interchange. Oh shit, is this? I, we'll go check it out ourselves. Added a sound signal from BTR to parts of the stop point. Improved hit registration when the player tilts in quick succession. List of fixes. Fix the geometry and the settings for locations aimed at more accurate operations of the vaulting and climbing mechanics added to the ability to vault previously unlocked positions, for example, windows and health resort. Fix the AI behavior when using stationary weapons. Fixed damage calculations algorithm for limb penetration so arms are no longer tanking. Fix the inability to pick up loot in Terracot Business Center in the streets. Fix the significant FPS drop in offline raids. Fix the lock damage registration after ricochet. Fix the visual effect of painkillers when using NVGs. Fix the inability to view a player's profile when using the flea market. Fix the incorrect damage to a player when walking into a non moving BTR. Return to the display ricochet chance info to helmets. Fix the incorrect camera tilt for a player while aiming and shooting. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. We will see, but looks good. You know? Toy gun. That's what I'm forgetting. Thank you guys, chat. Who sells it? Mechanic? 
The Blicky. Wait, what? For a Tetris? Or 290k on the store. Is that Wellen's item? Did Wellen get an item before me? No way. A plastic semi-automatic toy gun firing 20 by 1 mm discs. Designed for children over 5 years old. Manufactured in the USSR. What? I mean, we have to buy it, right? Where's the ammo for it? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> 25 shots, sure. Bro, what in the fuck is this shit? Hey, it doesn't even. <laughs> what? We gotta kill somebody with this, bro. We gotta kill somebody with this. We have to kill somebody with this, bro. One damage? Can it... Can it one tap in the head, though? No? Well, we gotta test it. Gloria's tested it. Okay, everybody tested it. So what, is it just swag? It's like having a little, it's like having a little cool pistol on your hip, that's it? What is this? One, but it oh, takes him man. five years. I found a Tetris like every raid, but I haven't seen a GPU yet. You just haven't found, uh, been finding GPUs in tech stores? Jesus. Yeah. Really? The Blicky, baby. The Blicky. What was the patch even for? It's a quality of life update. It basically changed, fixed, and altered a lot of things that, you know, the player base has complained about. Why does this area seem like it's like dead grass? Oh, is this the new... Oh, is this because it's spring? Ooh, so it's like we, we, get, we get the effects of snow, but without the snow. So there's still less grass. W. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. This is looking pretty sexy, boys. Whoa. Y'all weren't lying, huh? Yo, this is actually pretty sick. This is really sick.
The problem is still with interchange, they can make the loot as good as they want to make the loot. But with extracts being the way extracts are, it's like I still don't look forward to playing this map. Like all I'm thinking about while I'm grabbing all this loot I'm grabbing is, is how the fuck am I going to get out of here? This one to be user down there. Yeah, but even the toilet extract is bad extract, bro. I mean, for fuck's sake, you got to run down a metal staircase that is loud as nutsack or you got to run down a metal staircase that is loud or you got to go into a pitch black hole and just hope that no one's camping it, which they always are. That's the only bad thing. But the map itself looks sick. Yeah, also the turn on power part, yep. Yeah. Are done. I mean, there's never just one, right, chat? I mean, there's a chance that there is just because it's interchange and y'all know how people play interchange but maybe a kill a hunter you go check i don't mind losing the sr25 in a graphics card fuck it Hunter. Yeah, I threw a nade at them, they threw a nade at me. I 
saw you talking to Clean about Armory Forger. Any chance you are going to play it? Not too sure, man. It looks really cool. Could still be one more. Yeah, I shot this fool in his face a bunch of times. Is this a slap? Is a slap. Yeah, I can't grab the gazelle chat. There's just, yeah, there's just no way, boys, sadly. <clears throat> All right, let's go get extract camped. Was that a player? Wait a minute. Wait, what? Paid actor? 